Uh, Biden demands Gaza ceasefire in strongest rebuke yet to Israel. Um, Owen, you've been following this uh, very closely. Is this the strongest language you've heard from the biggest supporter of Israel, which is the US? Yes, but why did it take 40,000 Palestinians being slaughtered, including those buried under the rubble? Um, well, it didn't, did it? It was those Western aid workers. Horrible though that is, horrific for the families. The fact that it took some Westerners' blood being spilled before there was any action is just diabolical. Um, Biden has given Israel all the weapons that's needed for the last six months to raise Gaza to the ground. It now looks like a different colour and texture when looked at from space. Most civilian infrastructure has been severely damaged or destroyed. The healthcare system ravaged and Gaza is starving. The fastest collapse in the nutritional status of a population ever recorded. The worst famine since World War II beckoning, according to the experts. What I think is notable is actually all the way through, people said the US has huge leverage, arms it, backs it, diplomatic support, aid, all the rest of it, and has chosen not to use it. For the first time, they did that. And do you know what Israel did? They opened two crucial crossings. Now, some might go, well, that's brilliant. Of course it is, we need aid to get in. I'm at the moment speaking right now to a Palestinian man in Rafa. We're trying to get him out. We've raised 85,000 pounds to get him and his family out. I interviewed him a few months ago and he's, li he's in the most unbearable conditions. His brother's been killed. He's looking after his own kids and his brother's kids. Um, the fact is they've just opened these crossings and they could have done that at any time. They've been deliberately starving the people of Gaza. That's why they didn't open that. And that's why David Cameron himself went through. I don't normally refer to him. David Cameron listed all of the ways Israel is deliberately blocking aid. And as soon as the US decided to use the leverage it could have used all along, Israel opened two crucial crossings okay. to get aid in. That, is, that two, is diabolical. One, of course, is that the hostages are not being released. So let's remember those hostages. We mustn't forget those. And two, have America said they're going to they're going to cease all arms sales to Israel? No, they've that's, not said that. That's, you can say what you like, but if you're continuing to provide the weapons, then the, the fighting won't stop. So that, to me, this is pointless. Oh, we want you to have a ceasefire. I, I, we will no longer give you weapons is the only thing that will... I, I agree, and that's all Israel will actually understand. Yeah. But also the point about hostages, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Hamas committed a grave war crime yeah. by taking those innocent civilians hostage. It's a terrible war crime they committed. What I would note is the only means of getting huge numbers of hostages released has been through a ceasefire and a prisoner exchange. They, Israel has killed far more of their own but, hostages than it's actually rescued by but military focusing, means. Focusing on today, if Biden and the US really pull through on their threat, because basically they're, they're demanding an immediate ceasefire and they're demanding to see action from Israel. Now that, if that comes with, well, if we're not going to see that, we are going to withdraw support, financial support, armed support. Yeah, but Do it, you think that's going to have an impact on Israel. Well, Do you think that will change? Well, the, the danger is, is we've had so much hot air from Biden. He spent the last six months wringing his hands, telling, saying how awful it is, these civilian casualties, whilst arming them over and over again. They just gave them another load of arms the other week. Yeah. Now, you know, I mean, the, the fact is, is, you know, this is the biggest humanitarian crisis caused by deliberate means. That like, This is not artificial. Um, and what what is what is the US has done is given them a blank check to behave as they so wish okay. and and what britain needs to be doing by the way is ending arms sales because its own legal advice very clearly as alicia kearns the conservative mp and chair of the foreign um, affairs select committee made clear is their their own legal advice has said that it, israel's in violation of international law that means britain is legally obliged to cease we weapon sales okay um, at the moment we're arming what i believe is a genocide okay all right uh, let's move on